Hey guys, I'm Amanda from the Private Attic, and this video is made to help you to download and import your OneNote planner. So without further ado, let's dive straight into it. After you have purchased from Etsy or our theprivateattic.com, you should be able to download this instructions PDF for how you can download and import this planner inside your OneNote desktop app. Okay, so you have to do this on a computer and you cannot do this on a tablet or your iPad or your phone, definitely not. Alright, so after you have opened this PDF inside your computer, just go straight to page 2 and you will receive a step-by-step -step guide on how to download this. Okay, so the first step is actually to download the OneNote zip file for your planner. And you can straight away just click on this link to open up the Google Drive website. So just check that you have received the correct planner. It's called OneNote Digital Planner for the daily planner. And then you'll click on download anyway. Okay, usually for this website, you do have to press twice. So just click on it again until you have received a confirmation that this is actually downloading inside your computer. Okay, after it has finished downloading, you should be able to find it straight away inside your downloads folder. Okay, so for the, for the planner that I've just downloaded, it's actually called OneNote Digital Planner and you can find it right here. So let's go back into our instructions PDF. And the second step is for us to extract this OneNote zip file. So for Windows user, all we have to do is just to right click and click on extract all. After this, just confirm by clicking extract and it's done. And for MacBook users, it's even simpler. You just have to double click on this zip file for it to be extracted. And now let's move on to the third step. Step 3 is actually to open up the important link. So same thing, I will have to open up this link. This link is actually not the same link from above. The above one is for the Google Drive. And this second link is actually for the importation. So for the importation, you will have to use Google Chrome browser only. And you cannot open this on Safari, Firefox, Edge or Internet because this important link is not supported there. Alright, so let's just open up this link. And in this importation website, we'll click on import and we'll go to our downloads. You can see that you can see this folder, which is called OneNote Digital Planner. And this is actually the folder that we have just extracted. So just click on this folder and click on upload. Confirm it by clicking on upload again. Okay, so please do not select the individual contents inside the folder and please do not select the zip file. Okay, what we need to do is to select the unzip folder. So after you have uploaded it, it will take some time to run. So you will see this circular thing that's running. And this process should take no longer than five minutes. So if it, if it takes longer than five minutes, then just make sure that you're using Google Chrome and other troubleshoot could be that you need to close your OneNote app before you do all this. Okay, so let's just give it a moment while this imports. Okay, so after it's done, you can see this purple tick that indicates that the importation has been successful. So the next thing that you'll need to do is to click on View Notebook. Okay, and the web page will actually redirect to your OneDrive before it opens up OneNote inside your app. Uh, not Okay, not inside your app, but inside the browser. Yeah, and when you have reached this page, just make sure again that you have received the correct planner. All right, so this is the OneNote Digital Planner. And just make sure that all the tabs and everything, they are correct. All right, so now we are almost done. The final step that we'll need to take, let's go back to the instruction sheet. Okay, so step four, we are done. We have clicked on import and we have clicked on selected and we have selected the extracted notebook folder. And step five is that we'll need to click on view notebook, which we have done. And we have checked that we have received the correct planner, which we have also done. 
So if everything is correct, then the last thing that we'll need to click is to click on Open in Desktop App. You can find this button right here. It's called Open in Desktop App and it should open this OneNote Digital Planner inside your desktop. Okay, so they'll tell you, just confirm it by clicking Open OneNote for Windows 10. Give it like maybe a minute or so, let it load its sections and its pages. Okay, so as you can tell, currently OneNote is syncing all the changes and the importation of this entire OneNote. Okay, and it's done. Okay, so welcome to your new OneNote planner. Okay, so in order to check that you have received the correct planner, you can just open up this tab and you should be able to see that this is called the OneNote Digital Planner. And currently, even though all these sections, they may not have the correct colors reflected, this is actually because OneNote is actually still syncing in the background, but you can actually just click directly on them to check that, okay, you have received the correct planner. Okay, if let's say you want to open up this um, OneNote planner on other devices, then in your other devices, maybe like your iPad or something, then you'll have to click on more notebooks and then select this OneNote digital planner to open this up. All right. And in order to change into dark mode, it's very simple. So just go to these three dots, go to settings, go to options and change this from light to dark. And ta-da, you have actually got yourself a OneNote planner that actually works both in dark mode and light mode. Alright, so that's all for this video and I hope you like it. If you have any questions, do leave it down below or just contact me via Etsy or anywhere that you like.